Hey guys, today's video is going to be 10 baby names that I love but will not be using. Um, I do already have a name picked out for my baby girl, but I'm not going to be revealing her name until she is born. I love watching these videos in the beginning of my pregnancy because it kind of gave me an idea of what kind of names I would choose for my baby even before I found out I was having a girl. Um, and I hope this video is helpful for new moms to be, um, to choose a name for their baby if they're having a hard time. I know I had a hard time. I am horrible with names. I'm just like really picky when it comes to names because I'm just like, what if, what if this name doesn't go with the personality of my baby? What like, what if she doesn't like her name? I don't know. I was having the hardest time ever to pick out a name for her. But when I heard the name that I chose for her, I just fell in love with it and I knew that was going to be her name. I just, I knew it. I just had an instinct. So that's going to be her name, but I'm not going to reveal it until she is born. I do have um, boy names and girl names in this video um, just to help out whoever is expecting a boy or expecting a girl. Um, but let me go ahead and get started with a boy name first and it's gonna be number 10 so i love the name bentley uh, i first heard this name when i would watch the show 16 and pregnant um from the teen mom star macy which she named her son um bentley and i absolutely fell in love with that name because i've never heard of that name before or at least where, where at least from where I'm from, I've never heard that name before, and it was really kind of unique to me, um, but I really do love that name. So, number nine to a girl's names, I love the name Dulce, which is a Spanish name, and it means candy, but I used to watch this novella when I was younger, and one of the one of the main actors on there her real name was Dulce Maria and I love that name I've always loved her name and it I love the name but it's become very common for a lot of people to have or at least from where I am from I, I hear a lot of people have the name Dulce and I love the name like I'm so jealous of people that have that name I want my name to be Dulce but I, I didn't want to choose that name for my baby girl. Um, I did. I wanted something more unique for her. And not that Dulce isn't a unique name. It really is. But it's really common. And I, wanted, I want her to have a name that's not going to be very common. Because my name is Leslie. And I would, when I would go to school, there would be like three girls in the class named Leslie and I don't have a middle name so they couldn't call me by my middle name or anything and it sucked having a, a very common name because everyone has that name but anyways so number eight um I love the name Landon oh my god I first heard this name from actually a um a youtuber here on youtube um her youtube name is Jess Fam. I don't know if you guys have seen her videos. I love her videos and she named one of her sons Landon and I fell in love with that name. I was like, I've never heard that name before. It's, it's, I don't know, like just the way it sounds. It's, I don't know how to explain it, but I, I really do like it. It's a really pretty name. I really like it. Yeah. So number seven for a girl um, is Raina. I actually have two friends that have that name and I'm jealous of them. <laughs> I don't I I love I love the name. I really do. Um I would have really considered naming my daughter Raina, but it is really common like I said and I do want a more unique name for her. Um so I'm not going to choose Raina, but I do love that name. I really do. And um, number 6 is going to be Sebastian oh my god when I first heard this name um I actually heard this name first but I never really paid attention to it because I was obviously small it was from the movie Little Mermaid the the crab his name Sebastian um but I ended up like re 
Uh, I ended up getting represented to this name when one of my um, close friends at the time, she named her son Sebastian, and I loved the name. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, when she <coughs> announced the name for her baby, it was a really, really pretty name. I fell in love with it ever since. It is a common name, um, but I really don't hear it that often as much, but I do love that name. And number five would be Embry. When I was looking up um, unique names for girls, I uh, came across that na that name on Google, <laughs> trying to look for names for my daughter. And Embry was really it was right there on the top three. <laughs> I really do love the name Embry. I would have really considered it even to be her middle name, but I did um, find a different middle name for her that I do love. Moving on to number four, and it's gonna be Ezra. So let me just go ahead and tell you that I've never heard this name before until I started watching the show Pretty Little Liars. I am obsessed with that show and I've never heard the name Ezra and it's I feel like it is such a unique name. I would definitely, definitely consider this as a baby boy name. It's really unique. But I do feel like a lot of people might not like it. But everyone has different tastes in how and names so moving on to number three and it's gonna be Athena I love this name guys I really really wanted this name for my daughter because a lot of people are probably like why like I don't know, I feel like Athena isn't really a name that a lot of people have and a lot of people will probably be like, why Athena? But I am such a huge, like, nerd when it comes to Greek mythology and Athena is one of the goddesses. Um, she's a goddess of wisdom. I really wanted this name for my daughter, but I I felt like it wouldn't, it wouldn't go with her. I, I don't know, I heard it, I did have it in my mind for like a good, like, Probably two weeks I was like yeah this is gonna be your name this is gonna be your name and then I was like you know what no I don't feel like this name is for her like this name is not for my daughter um but I really do love the name I know a lot of people probably are not gonna like it but I am a huge Greek a huge Greek mythology fan like I'm such a nerd when it comes to that stuff but so moving on to number two, um, it's going to be Micah. I first heard this name on the reality show Preacher's Daughters. I don't know if you guys ever watched that show, but one of the girls there, one of her boyfriend's name was Micah. I've never heard that name before. That is such a unique name. That was my number one choice if I, didn't, if I wasn't expecting a girl. So number one... For the girl's name it will be Milani if this was gonna be her name it was already set in stone I was like this is her name nothing's gonna change my mind this is it I found her name and it, like I said it was set in stone and my mind was made up but I, I heard a different name that I obviously fell in love with more and I felt like that's, that's the name for my daughter. So I didn't end up choosing Milani. But I do love that name. I love it so much. <clears throat> I even wanted to put it as a middle name. But it, it, it wouldn't have flown. Like it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been fluent with her first name that I picked. I really hope this video was helpful for new moms to be. I know my situation is different from a lot of mom, new moms to be because probably with the baby's father and both of you guys have to come in, have to come up with an agreement. But I really hope you guys like this video, and please like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye bye.